where you can be making from 25 all the way to $40 an hour. If you want to know more, please stay tuned to the end of the video. Hello, my beautiful people from the channel. If you are new, welcome. My name is Isaura Abru, and in this channel, we talk a little bit about everything side hustle, how to manage your finances, and becoming financially free. If any of this topic interests you, make sure that you subscribe and like this video. In one of my previous videos, I posted that I have a new job. As you guys know, I'm a medical delivery courier. Currently, I'm not doing that job and I have some issues at work where I couldn't continue working in that place because of sexual harassment, uh, which I'm going to keep you updated little by little on. We're going to talk about that in another video. But today is a very excited video because I'm going to be sharing with you my current job, which I was able to get. Thanks, Jesus. And um, you guys know I'm seven months pregnant and I only have like eight weeks left, but I don't want to be at home just looking at the walls. Hell no. So um, I got another job through my friend uh, and I want to share with you guys because I think this opportunity could be for anybody out there that's looking for a good pay job uh, or maybe a side hustle where they can make some extra money. And I think this one is a perfect, perfect job and a perfect opportunity for you. So let me start. Like I shared in my other video, if you haven't watched it right here, I work as a contractor for a company that hires people for a project in which they have to hire the staff for shelters or or facilities that are giving asylum to people that are coming from other countries this means that they're coming from another country illegally and as you guys know new york city is a sanctuary so they they help these type of people and they um usually give shelters and you know they provide with whatever they need to be good until whatever happens to them if they move whatever the case might be right now there are a lot of agencies that have this big uh, movement with this project let's call it and they're hiring a ton of people for this project and is for you to become a helper at this type of facility or shelter they do have different positions for this uh like a community advisor or um, community associate or supervisor of the shift the shift are gonna be 12 hours a day for depending on your position that's gonna depend the amount of money that you're gonna make I am a community associate because according to my resume that's a position that I was qualified for I actually was gonna go for shift supervisor which pays a lot more between 37 to 40 dollars an hour but because of my pregnancy I didn't want to take so much responsibility so I decided to take community associate where they are paying 30 to 35 depending company or which staffing company hire but you're not gonna be making less than 25 dollars an hour which is still great so let me share a little bit more about what do you do in this type of work and then i'm gonna go right into the companies the staffing companies because i was able to gather some different staffing company because um they do have many so like i say there's different staffing companies and depending on which one you um get hired from it's gonna be the pay but like i said it's between 25 all the way to 40 depending on the position as of right now i know there's three positions like I said, which is a community advisor, community associate, and the chief supervisor. Um, before I get into this, let me just share a little bit about what are your duties every day. There are two shifts, one in the morning, 7 a.m. to 7 p.m., and the next shift, which is 7 p.m. to 7 a.m. They do have another position, which recently I was able to see, which was translation. Um, and I know they only work four or five hours a day, but I know they do five days a week so that's totally different as helper of the facilities or shelters where we work we are in charge of maintaining um everything running smooth in the shelter this means that the persons that are living in the shelter in the shelter they have to comply uh with everything that they're supposed to this is why the people that are there they sign a code of conduct sheet where they are agreeing to follow the instructions and to follow the policies and rules of the hotel or shelter uh, or facility that they are in. As a community associate or 
community advisor, you are required to make sure that the areas are kept clean and that the people are um, doing their stuff as they're supposed to. Um, usually, the people in the shelters, they already know what to do and they are really easy. They comply with whatever they have to do. They mostly speak Spanish. A lot of the people that are in these shelters are people from the South America area of the world and they are coming to the United States illegally. That means they don't have no paper, but some of them um, have children. So they are uh, now in New York City because of the sanctuary and they are being helped here and they speak spanish and they comply very good with whatever they have to follow usually we have coordinators coming from dhs coming from hra coming from these different other locations to help them get the help they need for example free insurance um how to get food stamp for their kids how to how to get how to get wig for food um food stamp cash system and all of that stuff that they're able to get another thing we are in charge to do is maintaining the log in order that means when they coming in and out of the shelter they have to sign in or out another thing is we have curfews so everybody that's in the shelter has a curfew 9 30 for the people that have kids kids have to be in bed by 9 30 not in bed but at least in the room and if there's two adults and what is outside, the adult that is outside must be back at the facility before 11 o'clock. Unless they have a pass for work or medical or whatever, they can come in. If not, they are given a warning. And if not, they could be kicked out of the shelter because they're not following the instructions. So, so mostly we just keep track of their movement in and out of the shelters um because that's how it should be that when it comes to how do you get this job i'm gonna get into it right now so these jobs um are not usually posted like that on the internet unless you already have the name of the staffing or if you know what exactly are they called because it's difficult i don't know about this position until i spoke to somebody that already was in and they gave me uh, the information of the agency and i called so i was able to gather let me see one two three four agencies that are hiring for this position the first one is elevation staffing services the second one is the 10 position the third one is Maxim Healthcare Staffing and the other one is Eclaro and the fifth one is Equilum which is the one I was hired from. Not sure if I'm saying the names correctly but I'm going to try to put them all right here so if you didn't get what I was saying you can just look at the words that I put there. So these were the staffing companies. These are the staffing companies that are actually looking to recruit to hire people for this position. And let me tell you that they are hiring a lot of people. I don't know for how long the project is gonna be, but hey, take advantage of this great opportunity. If you are able to find these positions online, you're going to be finding them as, I think is community associate or community supervisor, um, something like that, or community advisor. I have seen some of the jobs on Indeed. You might be a little bit, you know, a little bit confused because the requirements that they have when you go and check them on google it's like you have to have a bachelor's degree you have to have certain experience but i know they're looking for at least uh some customer service experience and you're going to be able to get in even if you don't have a bachelor's degree i do not have a bachelor's degree and i was able to find a good position as a community associate where they pay me 30 dollars an hour so i'm pretty sure you can get hired too and why am i giving you this information guess what because you guys know that i want you to win and if this opportunity is available for me it could be available for you as well so why not there's too many people being hired and from what i have seen so far i've seen people with even zero experience doing the job i have seen people making 36 to 40 dollars an hour as chief supervisor and from what i've noticed they don't know absolutely zero of what they're even doing so you can do it as well there's a lot of shelters that have been open in the new york city area and new york state uh, so I am pretty sure you can get higher and you can get a position because, you know, 
36 hours a week that's what they offer three days a week um you know the shift are 12 hours per shift but you only work in three days so that means you have the rest of the week after that to do whatever you need this could be a great side hustle if you already have a job you can be making a thousand nine hundred dollars if you are a community associate or nine hundred dollars if you are a community advisor which helps because if you multiply that you're going to be making four thousand something every month out of those 36 hours that you work with this position plus this also gives you a opportunity to put this information on your resume for future references this is how i take it so i hope this information have been helpful for you on your own do your research on the staffing companies that i gave you call them apply for the position make sure your resume is on point when it comes to customer service because this is what they're looking for and please apply this is a great opportunity i already received my first check a thousand dollars three days a week 12 hours per shift i mean come on you can do this i'm pregnant seven months and i'm doing this i'm pretty sure you can make a lot of good stuff uh, with this money i hope this information have been helpful for you don't forget to like and subscribe to this video if i know any more information about this job or other jobs i'm gonna be posting it right here because you know why i want you to win and you know that with this being said, thank you so much for supporting the channel. Thank you so much for watching the video. And as you guys know, I have my Buy Me A Coffee account uh, where you can scan it and support the channel by buying me a coffee. This is a way to support the channel. I hope you have enjoyed the video and I see you in the next one.